We've said it before, just a soggy day out there as rain moved into the area overnight. Absolutely, and from what we hear, it's going to keep on raining. Let's take it to John for a look at our forecast. Yes, it is going to keep raining, although I've got some good news and it's what you're seeing here, which is a little bit of a lull in some of the rainfall. Now I've got this selected on the St. Louis radar, so we're not picking up everything that's down here, but indeed there is a little bit of a lull in some of the rain. Now we do have some thunderstorm warnings off to our northwest. Those are going to miss us, but we do have a chance for some stronger storms later on this evening. We're also watching a few light cells move through. These are just showers, um, but they're some of the only remaining showers in parts of uh, southern Illinois. This evening as most of the rain continues to lift off towards the north. But again, we're going to keep this chance for spotty showers like this throughout the next couple of hours, scattered showers and maybe a few thunderstorms uh, before we start to see our heavy rain settle back in for tomorrow morning. And I've got more details on that coming up in just a few minutes. Well, we know flooding is an ongoing problem in our region, and with more rain, it could cause even more damage to already broken roads. Officials in Grand Tower say they're now looking at around $6 million to fix sinkholes, sewer, and storm drains on Front Street. Those holes appeared after flooding last year. A four-lane highway that connects southern Illinois to the metro east is one step closer to being realized. A task force formed to research the project must now get IDOT on board. State and city leaders tell News 3's Danny Valle they're confident that highway will be built. A four-lane highway from Murfreesboro to St. Louis isn't a new concept. Murfreesboro Mayor Will Stevens says the project has been talked about on and off for the past 50 years. The fact that you had this grassroots movement to reinvigorate this project means a lot. This isn't a political project. The Southwest Illinois Connector Highway Task Force released its report Thursday outlining the details about the proposed four-lane road. The highway would cut through Jackson, Perry, Randolph, and Monroe counties. It's estimated to cost around $800 million and State Senator Paul Schimpf believes the state can add the project into its Rebuild Illinois plan. We've allocated, uh, as I said, over $40 billion that the state of Illinois plans on, on spending on infrastructure over the next five years or so. So, it, you know, I'm optimistic that there is money uh, to be spent on this project. Schimpf says increasing road safety was also a priority. I think that just going from, from two lanes to four lanes will make the road a lot more safe. The other part of the safety uh, equation is it allows first responders to travel faster. It really is one of the things that makes the case for this route. The next step, Stevens says, is to secure state and federal funding so the highway can be built by the end of the decade. They raise the gas tax to the chagrin of many taxpayers, but if you're going to be paying that extra tax at the pump, Southern Illinoisans deserve to see a real uh, impact from that in terms of infrastructure improvement. This is a project that has been on the docket for a generation or more, and it's time that it gets done. In Jackson County, Danny Valle, News 3. To learn more about the proposed four-lane highway, go to our website, WSILTV.com. We have a link to much more information.